Greetings and welcome to Beast Talks. I call this Bees on the Go. Beast Talks on the Go. And guess where we are? We have come to in Riru. And the man who has allowed us to have this interview, my goodness, is a household name, not just in this country, but globally. And my goodness, this is going to be a conversation. I know you've been waiting for it. When we sent out messages, you sent a lot of them saying you want to hear from him. And he is right here on the set. Guru himself. Good to have you, sir. Thank you, Maina. <laughs> Welcome to Beast Talks. You know, we've been looking forward to really, you know, catch a conversation with you. And we, we are grateful that you've given us the opportunity. And, you know, just to start, I want to assume there could be someone somewhere who really doesn't know Guru. Maybe he has only had one time over there. And I would want to have the honor of requesting you to let us know when people ask who Guru is, who do you say you are? <laughs> I, I say that I am a... Uh, Kenyan, yes. Of course, a pure Kenyan. Kenya <laughs> is at my heart. Yeah. And uh, of course, I always introduce myself that I'm an ordinary person mm -hmm. working in Devki Steel Mills Limited, yeah. Devki Group of Company. Yeah. And uh, we have uh, the business of steel and uh, cement. Yeah. So that uh, we try to keep ourselves low. Yeah. Uh, then only you will be able to to give something but if I am if I show myself that mm -hmm. I am somebody yeah uh, then the other person may not ask the appropriate question <laughs> absolutely <laughs> absolutely I like the simplification of that yeah. but of course as you said you're a Kenyan and you know I was going through a bit of research of how you started I, I get together you came here when you're 16 years old yes and I know it can be a story because I know you have a book it can be a long story yes. but in a nutshell how was it since you came in and even getting into the world of business? How can you summarize that for us? Uh, it's a full journey <coughs> because uh, when you're 16, your actually age starts, your, your, your life starts. Absolutely. Uh, that's when I was 16, of course, I came here in the temple as a priest. Yeah. And uh, I always used to dream at that time and still I dream yeah. a lot uh, daytime, oh. not you when you sleep because when you sleep everybody dreams but <laughs> when, you, when you dream uh, while your eyes are open, yeah. uh, it's a correct dream okay. uh, so that you are uh, thinking and what you want to achieve. Yeah. So I, it was a difficult time but mm -hmm. I never uh, took it as a a very difficult time. I mm -hmm. took it as a lesson that mm -hmm. this is the first step of my life. Mm -hmm. You can fall down, you can yeah. again wear, climb back. So yeah. that was my, my beginning. Mm -hmm. After the temple, I got uh, support to work in a shop, mm -hmm. uh, industrial area, which yeah. was uh, Delta Hardware. Mm -hmm. Worked for some time, then the, uh, they separated, mm -hmm. they, uh, they went their own way. Yeah. So again, I was jobless. Mm -hmm. Then I started working in uh, Randilly Road. Mm -hmm. uh, then they separated, they left London, mm -hmm. uh, the family. Mm -hmm. So I said, now better I do something my own. Yeah. Then I started, of course, my shop in Gikomba yeah. for hardware. Yeah which was the cheapest place, but that's why I chose Gikomba. Yes, which uh, years were those, my goodness? You know, people might think it was just yesterday. <laughs> no, no, it was in 1978. Wow. So, so that's 78, 80. So that time there was nobody there actually, nobody there. except You're myself right. and the, the river in front of me. Yeah. That Hathi River. Wow. Is it Hathi River? Yeah. That Hathi, the river passed exactly in front on, on That's uh, Nairobi River, right? Kombo. It's Nairobi River, Nairobi on River, yes. Road. Yeah. So that's it, and there was no building any, this was an old <laughs> building, uh, uh, so we took it very cheap rent yeah. next to the garage, mm -hmm. we started our work very well, Yeah. and then I got married, my wife used to support me also in the shop, mm -hmm. I got married in Thika, uh -huh. uh, she's born in Nairobi, but she, they went to Thika, so we, we worked together, Okay. and of course that time also I was dreaming that whatever I'm selling I should be able to make myself. Wow. So whatever I was selling that time, mm -hmm. actually I have put that uh, factory to manufacture that items like steel and cement and mabati and uh, yeah. nails and barbed wire, chain link, everything. Uh, now so it was just the hardware at Gikomba? Correct, yeah. So how many people were you when you were starting? Was it just you or how many people were you? Where in the shop? Yeah. In the shop, me, my wife and two more people. Okay. Uh, we used to deliver the goods ourselves. Mm -hmm. uh, because you have to, you can keep less by one mm -hmm. because we can't afford. But of course, then later we, uh, we, you know, we had too many deliveries, 
small pickup KXU905. Mm -hmm. So you got to go many times. Mm -hmm. So sometimes I go, sometimes my wife goes. Mm -hmm. So we used to do that and we had uh, two or three other people yeah. who were working. They're still working with me. One of them is him. He's still? Oh there. my yeah. goodness. <laughs> the man at the front desk. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so then, of course, we, we started in uh, Athi River. Yeah. Uh, we bought a small land. Yeah. It was cheapest because Athi River was very, it was very far. Anyway. I know. At that time, it, it was, was the dry city, land of the time. Me. Yes. As if you are going in a wild, uh, you know, in a what you call wild area, because that time there was no much of a traffic. Yeah. So we got a land there. It was very uh, affordable mm -hmm. next to KMC, and then we put up our steel plant there. First steel plant. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Which is ongoing as we speak right now. My goodness. Yeah. You know, your story is quite inspiring because it's the start of so many other businesses where you start yourself your family and maybe one more person and just grows by the day. By the way, is the shop at Gikomba still there? Gikomba shop I never sold, it is still there. It's but still we, there. Give it out, we gave it out on rent because it has got a sentimental value Okay, yeah. uh, for ourselves. Because it's, it's a wonderful place yeah. and uh, where I have started my, my business life. Absolutely. So we will try and not to sell it. Okay. Yeah. I, I'm sure because we're talking about the journey, people would now Probably people who don't know, you know, would want to know now how far has he gone with the business now it's from the start at Gikomba in the 70s yes. and to where we are now. How vast are you? Because I know I could tell them, but I want you to tell them yourself. See, the journey was difficult, but one thing I must tell you that the, the business is not that easy. Yeah. But also business is easy if you are focused. Focused. Business is easy if you are... Uh, not distracted by the problems, mm -hmm. by the the debts, yeah. by uh, by many kind of uh, difficulties yeah. you, you, while you are climbing. Mm -hmm. uh, you will have a lot of competitors. Mm -hmm. You have uh, many people will not pay you. Yeah. So these all are the sign of you can either stop or fall. Mm -hmm. So you got to be very careful. And it was a difficult journey. Mm -hmm. No doubt about it. It's not easy. Yeah. But it taught me a lot. That time, uh, when I started in Gikomba, we had three or four people, as I told you. Yeah. And then when I started uh, steel mill in uh, Athi River, we had about 72 to 76 mm -hmm. uh, people working there with me. Yeah. Uh, for manufacturing a small factory, very tiny. Yeah. It was a very difficult time. I, I, if I explain you, it will take whole day. I know. But. But it was a very difficult time. But when uh, uh, we we say in our language that when. Uh, God is kind, a donkey can be a very intelligent uh, animal. Oh. Uh, so, I, I, we counted that we as good as, uh, uh, if we think that we are intelligent, no, we are not. Only the kind, uh, kindness of God or blessings of God can make you something. You're right. And it can, you know, many people are working very harder than me and you, mm -hmm. but still they don't achieve what you achieve or me and I achieve. You're right. It's just because of not only the ability, mm -hmm. but also some luck and some blessings of God. Yeah. So I believe in it a lot because I am coming from a priesthood. Okay. We started this Devaki Steel Museum in Athi River. Yeah. 76 people. Mm -hmm. In the beginning only, the competitors, because they don't want, there was a monopoly in Kenya. Mm -hmm. So they didn't want anybody to enter. So they cut down the price by 20, 30%, which was below oh. my cost. I could not sell anything for more than three to six months, actually. Oh, no. And I, I was not able to pay that salary also to my people. Wow. I sat with them. I mm -hmm. used to work with them mm -hmm. uh, in Athi River. Mm -hmm. I used to stay there mm -hmm. and uh, I talked to them like a family member that please let's come sit down. This is a problem we are facing. Uh, you guys want to help. Uh, uh, I want you guys to help me. Yeah. And I will make sure that you will be paid full salary. But be, be, un until we are stabilized, yeah. I will not be able to pay full salary wow. because I don't have the money. You're right. This is the fact. And they understood. They never left me. Still, they are working with me. Ah. You know, that's a big lesson you're teaching business people here. As we say, there's a lot of business people watching. Especially during this COVID season, a lot of businesses were hit hard. Very. Some of them had to, you know, let go some employees, yes. others to cut down. And I love the fact that you're saying there is a place of calling the people and presenting the reality on the ground. Correct, yeah. And Instead of treating them. Absolutely. And keeping them in the dark. Yeah. It's always better mm -hmm. to be frank with your, especially your staff. Yeah. Because the day you are, you are bluffing them, mm -hmm. that bluff can last maybe one year. Yeah. Or maybe a little more, but not longer. Because that time they will realize that this fellow was 
trying to cheat us or yeah. trying to bluff us. Absolutely. We shouldn't do that to our staff we because you not. lose your credibility, yeah. respect, mm -hmm. and they won't take you seriously. It is not a politics. Very true. That you talk whatever you feel like. Yeah. It is your own family because if you are not there, they are not there. If they are not there, you are not there. Yeah. Yeah. So they helped me and within six months the prices of steel went double internationally. Mm -hmm. So I did, I was able to recover my money. Okay. And I paid everybody from the day one. Wow. But what I'm saying is that mm -hmm. I created my, my, my bond with them like a family. Yeah. That they never left me till today and their children are still working with me. They're Forget about them. Their children are working yeah. with me. Wow. So, so it's a it's a good achievement that the third generation is working with me. Mm -hmm. It's because of if they, they they take it as it is my our own company. Guru, you know you've seen so many things here that I feel like picking whatever <laughs> I can. Number one, there's a lesson there. You're also teaching yeah. about how to manage your employees. Correct. Uh, th there is a place there, and there's a secret that you're saying. You know, treating them like family. Correct. You know, yes. because they are the they are the main reason why you do well, this. Well, you're there. So I'm trying to pick out as many lessons, but there's one thing you also mentioned about the competition that saw you coming up and decided to even cut their prices so they can yes. kill you. So you, they don't, so that you don't survive. I know. Because nobody wants to share in the world. Yeah. The change for the, any human being, the change is very uh, difficult to adopt. Yeah. Uh, whether he's a businessman or a child mm -hmm. or a grown-up person, mm -hmm. change is difficult to adopt for a human being. Mm -hmm. So I did uh, face a lot a hesitance, a lot of hesitance from the existing com uh, manufacturer. Yeah. That uh, if we come, we will we will uh, reduce the prices. Absolutely. And the monopoly will be broken, and which we did. By the way, and my quick question is this, because so many people do that. You know, I start a shop here, the next day somebody else just comes, starts next something door. and cuts costs on Cost, me. Yeah. I don't know, I know you managed to get out of that. As you say, the prices of steel went high globally. But what is your advice to anyone who is facing such kind of competition. Yeah, yeah it what is good do? because let's mm -hmm. say when I was in Gikomba, yeah. I was alone, only hardware shop yeah. in Gikomba. Mm -hmm. And uh, in front of me there was a river as I told you. Yeah. Uh, Nairobi, this river. Nairobi river. Yes. And mm -hmm. then that all plot sold and all built the shop uh -huh. and all become hardware shop. <laughs> so my business <laughs> went 10 times more because oh. it has become hardware street. Yeah. And today also, if somebody wants to buy something, they will go there. That's the place so to So take look. it positive. Okay. That your, your turnover will increase, oh. your business will increase. Yes. Uh, not necessarily that one shop has come next to you, yeah. you should get disappointed. Okay. More customer will come mm -hmm. because the sea is very big. Yeah. It's not that uh, uh, somebody will drink it all. I like that. The sea is big. <laughs> very big. Yeah. So, so it, and it has become hardware market today. All, yeah, you're all right. the Everybody goes to the combat to, to buy. Combat to buy. You're right. And in my my business, my experience is it went ten times more. Of course, it there will be difficulty mm -hmm. in the beginning because yeah. the other people want to attract the customer, so they will reduce the price. Yeah. But doesn't matter. At least more customer is attracting, so they are seeing that oh, there is another shop is also here. You're right. So at <laughs> least you get free advertisement, <laughs> and then when you are having a shop, you yeah. must try and uh, uh, think yeah. what better or what different I can do mm -hmm. so that I can be uh, one step ahead of my, my competitor. Your, that is very important. Your unique value proposition. Absolutely. Yes. Lovely that. You know, I, I wish I had five hours with you today, but I have to jump into other questions. Please allow me to grab this book. Please, please. Uh, because I have seen it and um, top selling book, I tell you globally yes. and um, Guru, A Long Walk to Success, an autobiography. We can see it right here. Just uh, giving guys a chance to have a look at it. There you have it. And you know, I could ask you many other things. I know there are many chapters here. Yes, uh, yes, but yes. my one question to you would be this. Anyone who grabs this book, anyone who reads it, what do you hope they could get out of it? Anyone will read this book, especially uh, young, young, young children of our, our country. Yeah. Uh, they will not, they will remove their, uh, the word uh, impossible from their dictionary. Yeah. They will remove the word that uh, uh, the, the life is difficult. Mm. Difficult, if there is no difficulty, mm -hmm. there is no result. Mm -hmm. If you get easy money, yeah. it will go easy. Yeah. You got to work hard to achieve something. Yeah. If you want to become clever, you, want to, you have to work hard. You got to read, you got to 
less going out in the party. You have to sacrifice many things, yeah. friends and uh, many things to, to, to read and become more clever. A similar way mm -hmm. to achieve in the business life. You got to sacrifice a lot, including the family life. Yeah. And then only you will be able to achieve. But if you want to keep both the life yeah. for the uh, party mm -hmm. and also friendships and yeah. also business, yeah. then your, your, your uh, importance of the business is, been, uh, is not being taken care of mm. the way it should you're, be. You're right. But once you establish a business, mm -hmm. then you have all the time to do whatever you want to do. So that's what you will be able to get from this book. Lovely. Because this is new, Guru, I think... Please, I'll, it is for you. you keep this it. is my... <laughs> yeah, it's for you. you I got, are you going to have to graph it for me before I will, we leave? I will, Excellent. I will definitely. I just and got my copy, bestseller. It has become a uh, world uh, bestseller <laughs> yes, book last absolutely. year. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I saw that. Yes, my goodness. Now, Guru, you have received so many accolades. Yes. A lot of... Uh, even Forbes recognizes you. Yes. I've seen many pictures around here and I'll be showing people some of the pictures with presidents. Uh, I have seen Modi as well in, in India as well. I've seen you with our president. I, I even saw a picture. It was very interesting seeing you adjust his tie. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's amazing. Uh, first of all, the simple question, because most people would want such. Yeah. How does it feel and what does this mean to you? Because what? the world recognizes you. Yes. Forbes, I'm talking about all these accolades you've received, all these awards that you've received. How does it feel and what does it mean to you? See, uh, Recognition is a byproduct. Okay. Your main product is what you are doing in your life yeah. for yourself and for the others. Mm -hmm. And if you have not done good to you and to others, yes. there wouldn't be any recognition. Mm -hmm. So that means the more important is not the mm -hmm. recognition, yeah. but more important is what you do for the others. Yeah. Today we run a lot of so many schools, so many uh, the the orphanages, mm -hmm. we provide the foods, we provide teachers, we, we build the school, wow. uh, we give the sponsorship to over 3,000 children for the education, yeah. we provide the uh, health uh, uh, for the medical assistance for mm -hmm. many people. Yeah. So these all are uh, coming as a, a one of the achievement of ours and my family because mm -hmm. they are also going to, they love it, they stick to that yeah. and this is what we want to continue to do. When this COVID started, yeah. Uh, we saw there was a lot of oxygen uh, I remember that. problem and people are dying. Yeah. We stopped our factory and we started supplying oxygen, oxygen. to all the hospitals in the country. Commendable. Uh, free of charge. Absolutely. So that uh, we can save our people. Yeah. Uh, you see, so this all are comes only uh, uh, when you have a good faith, when you have a good intentions. Absolutely. And that is what gives you recognition. Recognition yeah. is a byproduct, that's what I say. I don't get excited with the recognition. Yeah. <laughs> My goodness, this is Guru speaking. <laughs> You're given so much. I mean, everybody will be like, hey, are you making something yourself, you know? You're giving so much. We saw it. You even touched the entire nation during yes. COVID. You give oxygen, as you've said. I mean, the schools, the people who have benefited from you, so much of it. Why are you doing this? <laughs> See, at, at, until certain time you require a lot of money mm. but when you reach certain level it doesn't give you satisfaction yeah. then only you get satisfaction when you give it back to the society mm. uh, we have 6500 Kenyans working in our group today wow. which will go to 10,000 next year that is what is my happiness and that is what my achievement 10,000 my goodness That's the, by, a lot uh, by end of by before end of, end of next year yeah uh, we will have 10,000 with our expansions yeah so and wherever we go, mm -hmm. we, we start this journey of uh, social uh, services to give back to the society, yeah. to build the schools, to mm -hmm. give the education, to yes. give the food, give mm -hmm. the medicals. So mm -hmm. by giving this and by doing this, what we get the satisfaction, it, it, you, I don't think so you can get it in the business only, no. Because business runs itself now. You're right. Yeah. Somebody will argue this, I'm, and I'm so sorry for this, when you give 40 50 percent of everything that's too much you know somebody would say maybe five ten what would you tell them yeah you see <laughs> when uh, one thing i realized that the more i have given more i have received from the god 
Whoa. So so that is what my calculation that I think God wants to give me more, so I should give back more. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. My goodness. So also ah. it's a business with the God, you know. <laughs> I know, I know. This is this is beautiful. This is a principle that we are learning. Yeah, because here. you do it for his children, um, and all is uh, and I because of you you can do it only when you're gone through that, you know. I have slept without food uh, second meal in Kenya uh, when I could not afford. Yeah. So I know uh, what people uh, are less fortunate feels yeah. when they don't have anything. Very everybody true. can achieve, everybody can do the business, everybody can be successful. Mm -hmm. Only you need to be determined. Yeah. You need to be having a focus. Yeah. You need to make sure that you, you are ready to sacrifice all life yeah. and, and, and continue on your goal. Yeah. What do you want to achieve? You're right. You should know that. And don't trust anybody. If you trust somebody, mm -hmm. you will lose money. And once you lose in the beginning, yeah. you are finished. You yeah. can't go anywhere. Yeah. So be careful what you have, your savings. Do the real business, straightforward business, and, and, and have a smaller margin, but, but solid margin. That yeah. I have the small margin, but it is confirmed margin. Mm -hmm. It is sure margin. Yeah. And uh, don't take a risk in the beginning. Yeah. You can take a risk, but once you grow, mm -hmm. for giving it on account, or, uh, but that is all calculative risk. Wow. Yeah. You know, I'll, I'm going to go to some questions we asked people to send us, you know, when we told please. them we're coming to meet yeah, you. Please. But I just wanted to ask this, because guru has a meaning towards us, you know. Yes. Do you think your name is behind the success? Yeah, guru is, a, is, a, is actually a name of a head priest in, 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 in a Hindu religion. Okay. Who knows the, the, the Sanskrit and uh, many other things like astrology. And uh, so I, when I was in the temple and when I came out, mm -hmm. of course, uh, I was given this uh, name. Okay. Uh, you can say name or a degree All by, right. the, by the people. And they used to call me guru. So where you can get the guidance? Yeah, you know, for us, anytime we say this is a guru of something, <laughs> it's an expert completely yes, of something else. Yes, guru means you know better uh, than rest. But of course, everybody is guru in their own field. <laughs> <laughs> lovely, lovely. Um, so one of the questions that people asked was this. Eh? Startups, mm -hmm. advice to startups? Because you've been there starting up hardware yeah. by yourself. Yeah. I don't know what advice you tell them. See, I tell them that yeah. first of all, try and see if you don't, if you can do without partnership. Okay. It is better because it is beginning in a small business. You you try and uh, try to do it, but okay. if you can't, you have to do in partnership. It's nothing wrong in it. Yeah. But do the partnership with the right people. Yeah. And keep very very little expenses. Mm -hmm. The running expenses should be very low. Yeah. Uh, of that uh, new startup business. Yeah. And try not to take loan if possible in the beginning. Mm -hmm. uh, if you have savings, yeah. you start with it for at least a month or two yeah. and, and prove yourself that yes, what mm -hmm. I did, the calculation yeah. is correct and I can achieve the, the profit. Yeah. Then you can try and get the loans, but not before that. But not loans that. try and avoid in the beginning okay. until you grow to a certain level. Mm -hmm. Then only, if not necessary, don't take. But don't if take. necessary, then only you take it. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, as I told you, not to give anybody goods on credit yeah. or on the faith because mm -hmm. you have just started. Just started. You sell less, mm -hmm. but sell for sure that you will get the money. The money. You got the money and your profit. Mm -hmm. Sell cheaper, mm -hmm. make less profit, but mm -hmm. make sure that it is with you. Lovely. Yeah. Very good advice there. I know we are shooting now very straight here. There's another question here about, uh, wow, because you've just spoken about partnerships there. In our research, we noticed that uh, you have uh, done some serious partnerships with the Chinese, but close to 90% there. Are you working with the Chinese, right? Uh, I have not done a partnership uh -huh. with the Chinese. Yeah. Uh, only my supplier, uh, some of them is Chinese, maybe, oh, it's Chinese. or uh, uh, manufacturer, but we don't do partnership. Oh, no partnership, no. it's just supply no, no, relationships. No. Okay, great. There's another question here. People believe that you're super successful. What's your secret? <laughs> <laughs> Super successful is only I never lost the uh, the the goal. Yeah, I never stopped walking. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not advertise of Johnny Walker, but I, <laughs> I, I but I, I never stop walk, uh, walking. Yeah, uh, towards the uh, achieving better. And yeah. then of course always I have kept uh, uh, all industries we have care put yeah. in the rural area yeah. so that we benefit also mm -hmm. the, the, the community of that area benefits. Yeah. Uh, so many things we have done yeah. which is not done by the rest of the investors mm -hmm. is the main point, main uh, uh, success, uh, the reason of success. Okay. There's another question here. One or two values that you stand for that you deem very important. 
the of course one or two value the first one first value of, uh, of your uh, business to be successful is your honesty your honesty you got to be uh, 100% honest with your customer supplier mm -hmm. and family mm -hmm. because if you are not honest to them yeah as i told you in the beginning mm -hmm. it will uh, you will lose the credibility yeah uh, not necessarily that you you become you have a credibility by the media or by anybody no credibility is in a personal manner yeah. mm -hmm. with your customer with your supplier and with the uh banks yeah uh, your financier mm -hmm. so this all uh, honesty is very important so yeah. that they trust you what you say mm -hmm. and that is the one thing and the second one is of course yeah. your hard work yeah you've got to work hard not necessary that you go to work hard by lifting something mm -hmm. but you got to work hard means by sacrificing your more time towards yeah. your business okay and more commitment towards the business yeah. than the rest of the things in the life mm -hmm. until you achieve or you are on the path yeah. highway yeah. that now i am stable in the business uh, that's very important these two things i would advise to the new business startup wow lovely one more advice to the people but there was a question about how do you manage such a large staff of people in the thousands 6500 or something 6500 that's yes. a huge number how do you ensure they they still work harmoniously to deliver and that the company is still on the growth path yeah see we have uh, uh, the system yeah. all is a system driven mm -hmm. and uh, each each department has got the, uh, the uh, hod the head of uh, department yeah. who is responsible to get the job done productivity done from his team mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. similar way that hod will report to mm -hmm. his manager the manager mm -hmm. will report to the plant head plant yeah. head will report to the commercial director yeah. so it is all chain and it is on daily basis okay it's not the weekly it's not monthly it is supposed to be actually a daily basis yeah and very strict monitoring so that people are productive yeah things are all automatic at the moment mm -hmm. it's not necessary that anybody has to work hard by lifting anything okay but they have to be very careful on the computer they got to be very careful in the control panels yeah they got to take sure make sure that by doing what yeah. they are able to get better productivity so this all end up at the end of the month or end of the day in the result what they have produced today mm -hmm. now that production report comes to everybody but also comes to me okay and that tells me mm -hmm. that which company or which factory produced better today mm -hmm. and they have done well mm -hmm. or not well and if they have not done well then i intervene directly myself okay. and ask them what was the problem so we keep very close monitoring system i love that's that. how we manage uh, the productivity and the staff beautiful you know people say entrepreneurship is a lonely journey i don't know have you ever had a low moment or what was your lowest moment in this entire journey uh in the entire journey lowest moment is uh, it comes to anybody once you you climb the uh, ladder? the ladder mm -hmm. the many people will be your jealous yeah and many people want to pull you down yeah they will try and then uh, tennis your name by doing anything mm. by doing anything putting here there anything to do it in the dirt on the in the media anything to do with the the society mm -hmm. that how we can bring it is human nature anyway it yeah. is accepted okay but of course you 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 become uh disappointed and feel that what is this nonsense happening mm -hmm. and uh, and by and then that is also uh for no reason yeah just just to tarnish that's just to, to bring down somebody's uh, mm. valuable name yeah but it uh, now i i got used to it so yeah. i i don't bother okay. because when the elephant is walking the dogs are barking elephant doesn't know even <laughs> <laughs> you're right final question what keeps you going because you know you're still as you said you're walking we keep, mm. we keep walking but what keeps you going <laughs> see the keeps the keeps the the life keeps me going and and strong is only challenges every yeah. day you get a lot of challenges yeah we in especially in the business, in the industries we have a lot of challenges mm -hmm. so the challenges are uh, makes you to be active all the time mm -hmm. but more than that yeah i see that my my 6500 family yeah the 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 workers mm -hmm. the staff got yeah. the 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 money and yes. they got increment yeah we we have never stopped increment even in the covid time wow. we we were giving there was less productivity <laughs> less pro, uh, business but the increment was we, we increased their uh, salary because we know their colleagues yeah. or their sister mm -hmm. or their father have mm -hmm. lost the job you're right so they need more uh, support so we increased and we keep on doing it because of that and and what i say i must tell you i'm not telling you that they are my family mm -mm. but why i'm selling telling you with the proof 
that my son have not worked with me for 30 years. Mm -hmm. These people have worked, they are working still with me yeah. more than 40 years. You're right. And they are still with me, they're second generation. So they are better family with me. Wow. <laughs> They and that is what keeps me that's what keeps smiling. you smiling that yes. keeps, keeps me going yeah. i would like you to ask him how yes. many years he is with me I'll that's mr moindi yeah his name is moindi he was a mess he was a, actually he was lifting the chuma and loading in the pickups wow wow we will ask that question definitely there's so many nice pictures i'm seeing here and yes. i want I, I i want you to take me around as you tell me that please, please. but before then you know you just said something here that you were even given an increment during the COVID season yes. I, that that surprises me I want you to look straight at that camera because somebody lost a business and it closed completely. Okay. Somebody's thinking, what do I do next? So it's more like a parting shot, but really an advice to a business person who is watching you today. What would you tell them straight to the camera? Somebody closed in the COVID time? Mm -hmm. Yes. During COVID time, some are almost giving up. Whatever advice you can give them. See, the, uh, I must tell you, the fellow listeners, uh, one, one good advice as a, as a, as a fellow businessman, mm -hmm. that the disappointment comes. You will lose a lot of hopes. You will lose uh, money also in the business. But the waking up again is the call businessman. Mm -hmm. you, don't, you should never ever accept the defeat. If you, defeat, if you accept the defeat, you cannot be a successful businessman. You wake up, start smaller and mm -hmm. ask yourself what you did wrong that you had to close down. Mm -hmm. This one, you, it should not happen again, even if the next pandemic comes mm -hmm. and you will be a successful business. But wake up and start your business in a smaller way and remember what mistake you did, which made you to close in difficult time. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> Guru himself in the house telling us as it is, by the way, what's the feature of DevKey now? of the the future of your future group of, of is yeah. as i told you we, yeah. we, we would like to make kenya uh, import free in steel yeah. by next year because we are putting the huge steel uh, steel plant making from iron ore wow so kenya will not have to import yes the steel wow uh, and uh, there i will have about 4000 people uh, will get the job by month of march yeah so that is the biggest happiness i am having uh, so the total will come to 10000 kenyans working in the group you know, somebody outside there in the field would tell you you should be a, you should get into politics because every all those votes anyway. <laughs> I know, yeah, yeah. I know, but politics is not uh, our life. Yeah, and uh, we don't lie. Yeah, uh, we don't promise You're wrong right. yeah. to the people, mm. and uh, we we want to be honest. We yeah. want to promise what we can do. Okay, and we want to do what we can deliver. Yeah, and uh, not for gaining anything. Yeah, uh, so the business and politics both are. Uh, are a totally uh, yeah. different way. I'm a, a chancellor in Egerton and I see my children uh, getting graduated mm -hmm. uh, and I see the hope in their faces. Yeah. Kenya will be a different country in the next 10 years' time. Totally. There will be a more intelligent children will be here, yeah. more intelligent business community will be here mm -hmm. and they will, be, uh, they will not take any nonsense from anybody. What's happening up there? I'm sitting with the president. Yeah, he's, uh, <laughs> Actually, two places here. You are adjusting his tie here, yeah. and I can see you up there. So that one uh, was when we opened our uh, Imali clinker factory, uh -huh. where uh, His oh. Excellency came for uh, opening, and he was so happy yeah. that we we are we have started uh, uh, local manufacturing of the clinker. Wow! Very proud, very happy, and mm -hmm. I, I admire him. Yeah. Uh, to support the industry, so yeah. that is the time you, you can see the happiness on his face. Yeah, you face. guys are good friends. You look like you're good friends <laughs> holding hands there. I'm seeing you with uh, the Indian my son. This is yeah. my son. Oh, this is your son now. Yeah, my yeah. elder son mm -hmm. and this uh, pre Prime Minister of, uh, India, of India, Narendra yes. Modi. Yeah. Uh, also very good family friend, last mm -hmm. 50 years. Wow. Uh, when he just joined uh, politics, yes. uh, this, since then we, we know each other. Wow. Of course, now he's the Prime Minister, so yeah. my son visited India, so they called him at home. Oh, great, yeah. great. There's another series of photos I've seen you here as well, with also the Prime Minister yourself, yes. right here? The, yeah. The, it was here in Nairobi. Yeah. Uh, and this is the year when uh, Forbes had uh, Correct, yeah. put you up there, right? Correct, yeah. <laughs> so that's the Lovely. time he came. Here also the, the uh, our former president, president as well, uh, president, Mike Kibaki. Uh, Kibaki. Lovely. Very good friend of mine mm -hmm. and a uh, very nice gentleman. Yeah. Very sure. good. Mzee. Yeah. Very uh, supportive, right? <laughs> very supportive and yet to get 
uh, a person like him. Wow. Had to see. I can see you in Uganda as well, right yes. here. <laughs> Was this in Uganda, right? Yeah, this is the Yuri Museveni, president of Uganda. He yeah. came to opening uh, of our uh, factory in Uganda. Yeah. Uh, for cement. Yeah. We have a cement factory in Tororo. In Tororo. Yeah. Lovely. So this time we came. This must be a tax award, definitely. You can see Kerry, yes, and you're among the top 10 pairs. Yes. Wow. Uh, it was in 2016. <laughs> yes. Uh, we got the, the top uh, taxpayer in the country. You're a faithful Kenyan. <laughs> <laughs> we have to be, but we, we can try and... Be, yes. This is the this is President Kabila. Yes. Of Congo. Of Congo, yes. I had my factory in Congo okay. for 10 years. For 10 years. For steel. Okay. Uh, and uh, he was a, he's also a very nice gentleman, okay. a very good friend of mine. Mm. We haven't met many years, but a uh, very nice gentleman and good friend of mine. Goodness, Lord. Yes. So, I don't know which country you've not touched around Africa, but anyway, <laughs> <laughs> we have to end it at that. And thank you so much for your time, sir. My pleasure. I mean, my we really pleasure. appreciate my your time. Pleasure. And that you can even allow us access and really give advice please, to businesses. Please, please, yeah, anytime. We love it. You can see there's a Christmas tree there, so I'll wish you a good one. Thank you as well. I wish you also, <laughs> and I wish also all the listeners uh, supporting yeah. uh, of the the biz eyes. Absolutely, uh, talks. Yeah, uh, biz talk. Yeah, uh, everybody mm -hmm. uh, very happy, happy and merry Christmas in advance. You're right. And uh, God bless you. Thank you so much. There you have it. Cheers. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>